What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to be sharing with you this video that's kind of making its rounds on the interwebs right now. And uh, I actually came across it the other day in one of the uh, Facebook groups for Elantra N owners, and someone had posted it. So uh, basically, essentially, what this is, is a Arkansas State Police pursuit of a, a Hyundai Elantra N. And um, this is really kind of like the first confirmed pursuit I've come across of an Elantra N. Uh, there was another one that I had made a video on months and months ago, last year, I guess. It was an Elantra that I assumed was an Elantra N because I think it was clocked at 140 or something like that. But uh, this is definitely an Elantra N. And this guy, ridiculous what this guy does kind of give you my my play-by-play -play on what's going on here but uh just to set this up this is happening in arkansas arkansas state police um actually pursued this guy for about three hours and called off the pursuit because it was getting too dangerous and basically lost the guy and then fast forward um, it's really only about 15 minutes after they lost them, they found them again. And what you're going to see in this video is, uh, is them picking up the, the, uh, the chase again, once they spot them going through a uh, construction zone in, um, you know, and going too fast. So as we, as you can see now, you know, this officer is, uh, has caught up to this guy and, um, this Elantra N uh, has stickers plastered all over the back of it, one of them being N75, which is a very popular tuner uh, that tunes cars and a couple other, you know, other uh, modification stickers on the back. It has like the little stuffed animal thing hanging from the, uh, the bottom of the, the diffuser there, which I guess is some kind of signal that I want to race or something. I don't know. I've seen that often on tuner cars. But um, it, I'll just kind of give you guys a little bit of the backstory of the thread that was going around with this video on the, uh, or in the Elantra N group. Um, and this guy is actually in the group. Uh, he is one amongst us. And um, from what I can gather, he is a young, young fella, um, not very old, very young, and a, you know, relatively quick, uh, sports car and um, and uh, according to what I've seen on the groups uh, he hasn't really learned his lessons it seems like he claims he was scared that's why he ran he knew that they were already clocked him about doing about 130 miles an hour so instead of doing the responsible smart thing to do which is pull over he decides to make a run for it now you'll see in this video there's a ton of traffic. It's a construction zone, so they're doing work on the road. And he's just flying in and out of traffic, uh, being absolutely moronic in what he's doing. At this point, uh, he goes through this barrier here. You can see it says road closed. And um, this is where things are gonna end poorly for him. Um, I'll never understand why people think that they're gonna be able to run away from police officers that you know the radio is much faster than your car is they have helicopters they already have his plate it turns out this wasn't a stolen car it wasn't a situation where it had a stolen plate on it or whatever obviously they're going to catch up with you why even try to run but um as you see he's flying through this construction zone could have easily killed multiple people here working on the construction site you can see right there inside the crane is construction workers and uh, just zero regard for human life and, and decency. So um, I'm excited to see him get caught, which you'll see in a second, he does. Uh, now, he was pulling away from the, the, uh, the police car a couple times, and like I said, he had ran for three hours from the, from the cops. So obviously a tuned Elantra N is gonna be able to pull away from just you know these stock chargers that the uh, that the state troopers have, but you can see he's out of the car, had his hands up already, um, and starts crying, crying like a little whiny something. Uh, trying to keep it decent here. But uh, this is just a case of, in my opinion, uh, a case of uh, a kid, young kid. Uh, parents have probably provided this kid with the car. Um, he has uh, no responsibilities and does not realize 
the danger that he put so many, not only the, the people in the construction zone, but all those people that are in their cars. This guy's going on the, you know, on the uh, shoulder and cutting people off and just being a, uh, a general uh, to, to put it lightly. Again, to follow this up, uh, this guy is in, and I'm not gonna, you know, say his name or anything like that, even though I probably should. Uh, but he uh, he's already posting supposedly that he got this car back, and somehow it's already fixed. And he's talking about you know running 28 psi through his turbo. So I, I'd have to assume that this car has definitely got some issues going on. Uh, I don't think it, it looks like he hit pretty hard, but maybe not. I mean, maybe it did survive the you know the accident. He's got some major bumper damage there, and. Um, but from what I've seen and from what people were kind of conversing with this guy, um, it doesn't seem like he really learned his lesson um, and was bailed out of jail pretty much right away by his parents. And like I said, highly unlikely that he's learned his lesson from this. I, I'm hoping that uh, someone's able to talk some sense into this guy, into this kid. I mean, he's a kid. There you go, guys. I wanted to just share that video with you. And, um, and yeah, ridicule this guy. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, for the fact that, again, it, it seems like he hasn't learned his lessons. There were no apologies. There was just, I was scared. I knew I was gonna get in trouble, um, you know, and uh, no humility for, you know, like I said, the, the lives that he put at risk, his own life included. And I just hope, I just hope that maybe this does something to teach him a lesson. And maybe just, you know, this getting around on the internet, you know, he'll he'll be embarrassed by it. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments about this, you know, this ridiculous uh, pursuit. And, uh, you know, what you what you think about this guy posting on the on the Facebook groups after this happened, and, and, you know, and really not really taking in exactly what he did. So I'd like to hear from you guys. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So till the next video, peace out.